hi lovelies you're welcome to another tutorial video guys i'm excited like just check out this case check it out just check out this case and the good part about this case is that i made it two-faced so i can use either this or this can you see i can equally use the other side so this is it i made it in such a way that i can use both faces okay and that's one of the most exciting parts of this um cape for me so guys without further ado you're welcome to yet another tutorial video if you're new here you are most welcome my name is chin retichi for short and if you're a subscriber i love you always and in today's tutorial guys we're going to be making this beautiful cape jacket whatever you choose to call it it's fine the most important thing is you're going to be knowing how to get this done today so i'm going to be showing us like you all know i go for the simplest method i'm not about the complicated method of getting things done the easier the better for me i don't know about you so i've come up with this very simple method on how to get this cape done so if you're interested in knowing how to get that done sit right back relax continue watching but before we proceed do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like so without further ado let's dive right into the tutorial so to start with for the length of the cape it depends on how long or short you want it to be okay we have a very long one we have the very short ones we have the medium length like any length you want that is going to determine what you're going to be using but for this one i do not want it too long i don't know and i don't want it too short as well so i'm going to be using the length of 25 inches for the length of this one so any length you want to use that determines what you're going to be measuring from you know the shoulder area all the way down so for this one like i said i'm going to be using 25 inches so i place my tape roll at the tip like so and then i measure the length to be 25 inches from one end of my fabric to the other so after that so this is the length so these are the this is the points that i have the length and then i connect all the points together so for now as you can see i have the length marked out and this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to get the width and then for the width from the center fold i'm going to be measuring 20 inches okay so from the center fold i place my table at the center fold like this and then i mark outwards to get my 20 inches that is for the width of the uh, the cape and then i connect together like so so we have here to be the length and then this is the width that we're going to be using for this particular cape so the next thing i come from this top like so and then i measure down five inches okay so from this place i'm going to be marking five inches all the way down so i mark it from this upper part i'm not going to be marking it all the way to the width of the fabric i'm going to be stopping somewhere here and at this five inches mark what i'm going to be doing from here to here i'm going to be measuring the shoulder measurement divided by two plus one inch so the shoulder here is 15 inches i divided by two to give me 7.5 plus one inch is going to give me 8.5 so this is the shoulder width so i'm going to be connecting it with a straight line like so so this is i have as the shoulder then at the upper part as well what i have there i also mark it outward that is the same eight and a half inches that i have after which i connect it with a straight line to meet the other horizontal line that i have marked out before so the next thing i'm going to be marking out the neck width that's the neckline and i'm going to be using the width to be two and a half inches that's for the width so i mark my two and a half inches for the width of the neckline and then i come down by just one inch for the um, depth of the neckline and then i connect my neckline like so so here i have the neckline marked out so the next thing i come down to this other point i'm going to be coming down by one inch that's for my shoulder slant like we do in our regular basic bodies and then i connect to the base of the neck like so so at this point we have our shoulder slant and then i'm going to be connecting the straight line to meet the shoulder slant line and then i come over to this other point the total length is 25 so i get the midline the midpoint of 25 inches which is about 12.5 and then i mark the point like so and then i come to this upper part i'm going to be coming out by two inches from this vertical line so this is the two inches i'm going to be connecting from these two inches to this midpoint and then to the length of the cape so this is how you go about the connection please you can use a curve rule but i prefer my uh, free hand in doing this so this is what i have at this point so this is what it looks like at the lower part so i'm going to be cutting along um, the marked out point just as you can see 
so i cut along all the marked out points please guys please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed up to this point um just give this video a like and then you can drop a comment in the comment section so i come to the neckline area i cut like so and then the shoulder slant not the straight line so you cut like so and then you cut the vertical one upward like so so at the end of it this is what it looks like and then i open it up this is what we have guys so at this point um i'm going to be cutting the interfacing if you want to put any um stay you know just to give it width or um heaviness then it's fine but for me i'm not going to be doing that i'm just going to be cutting the interfacing i'm going to be using another fabric to do the interfacing this is because i want this um cape to have two face so i can use either this other one or the fabric i'm going to be using for the interfacing that i can interchange you know the right side of the cape i can use either face of this cape so this is what i'm going to be using as the interfacing so with this i can interchange if i want to use the brown i use if i want to use the african print as the front side i go ahead and use so i'm going to be stitching both together at this point so i'm done stitching that and i'm turning it inside out to show you guys what it looks like so this is what it looks like after i've stitched and then i turned it inside out so you go ahead and then give it a good press make sure you iron it flat okay iron it flat make sure everything is well ironed out so after the ironing this is for the neckline for this one i'm going to be stitching the neckline down with a quarter of an inch but if you are going to be putting it on a fabric like on a dress you don't need to do that at this point the neckline should be the last thing you will do so i'm done sitting the neckline and i notched and then i turned it inside out so this is what it looks like i'm going to be ironing the neckline out like i said earlier i want to use both you know face both uh, faces of this uh, cape as the right side i can use either ways so for that i'm going to be using a french seam to stitch so that you know the seam is not visible on any side of the cape and like on either side you are not seeing the stitch so i'm going to be finding my way around looking for the appropriate seam that i can use but if you're not going to be doing that all you need is just to fold over like so make sure the other part is touching the base of the neckline and then you stitch down like so on both sides so after that this is what i have so i'm trying to place it um properly so that i can have it well ironed out so make sure this is what you have this is what your cape should be looking like so i iron out the shoulder area like so iron out every part other part of the cape and then after ironing guys this is what it looks like and this is what the back part of the cape looks like so this is what you should have at the end of the day um guys i'm loving this cape and then i turn over to the other side like i said i'm going to be using either of the faces and this is what i have so i can interchange you know whichever one i want to use whichever one i want to rock i go ahead guys i love my cape and guys let's try this out and see how gorgeous the fitting is guys this is what it looks like guys i love like i love the classiness that comes with this cape this is really looking beautiful guys like oh my god oh my god like i like i'm going to replicate this cape in different designs and prints i must like i'm not even going to lie i will make sure i have this as many as i want so guys this is what our beautiful cape looks like thank you for watching and see you in my next one bye